Warning! You're watching Dr. Todd Lee TV, where theoretically you could learn a bunch of cool shit. Dr. Todd Lee, IFBB Pro, medical doctor, asshole extraordinaire, biochemist. There's something that a lot of people misunderstand about esters. So there's a testosterone molecule and a carbon 17, there is an ester added. That's so that when you inject it, it doesn't get absorbed instantly. A test no ester, a TNE or test base gets absorbed so fast, it's not very useful. Propionate is a three carbon chain. Prop has like a two day half-life. So the, the graph, even if you inject it daily, is sawtooth. That's not good. Anathate is a seven carbon chain. Anathate is also rapidly absorbing compared to cypionate. So it also has a sawtooth on the graph. You inject it every day. If you inject sip, it goes up and it's smooth if you inject it every day. Now, Kurt Havens has released some preliminary findings on Steve's video that just dropped regarding sip versus anathate. He explains it like this, that you get a higher peak with anathate than you do with sip, which would be true because it's got a shorter half-life, so it absorbs faster. That doesn't mean that there's more area under the curve. In fact, the sip caused the SHBG to go down more than anathate. Now, SHBG kind of is a binding agent it gets in the way of the testosterone being anabolic so it would imply that even though the anathate spikes faster and higher this will generate more side effects as more of the test will be converted into dht it won't generate more anabolism it would generate less because it's got a higher shpg now kurt misunderstands the data and he says that Technically, because it's got a higher peak, it could be more anabolic, but th that's not science. So he confabulates mythology with the findings of the study so that anyone who watches this episode is going to be confused and misunderstand that his supposition and mythology was found in the study. So what people are going to walk away thinking, because they're not that smart, and it was misunder misunderstood, misrepresented to a crowd of uneducated people, what they're going to hear is that he said test anathate is more anabolic than test sip, which is not true. Test anathate spikes faster and higher than test sip, but getting spikes in your blood isn't the goal. The goal is stable levels. And some people might say, well, you still get more area under the curve, which isn't true. But even if it was, you could just use more sip. There's no limit to what you do except for the side effects and blood work permutations as a result. Greetings, Earthlings. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Share with a friend. Share with enemies. Share with people who think they know everything. Spread it like herpes. Speaking of herpes, I am a medical doctor, and I could be your doctor. Click the link in the description box. I can order you blood work. I could read the blood work. I can treat any illnesses. I basically, it's like an HRT clinic that's a one-man army. Also, I do coaching. Dr. Karina Dotson and I have a coaching business called Apex Coaching. So if you sign up with me, you get coaching which is nutrition, programming, competition prep, or lifestyle coaching, as well as all the medical stuff. So you have two doctors in one business. It's going to be contest prep, the nutritionist, the programming person, and the doctor all in one. You can't beat it. It's integrated. It works the best that way. You'll love it. Make sure to do it. Click the link in the description box.